A relief print can be made in a single printing action or in multiple layers of printing. One example of a single action is the jigsaw method, where a block is cut into shapes and inked in a range of colours and then placed back together prior to printing. More than one printing action can include multi-block techniques where several different blocks are inked in various colours and printed on the same piece of paper using registration techniques. An alternative is the reduction process that employs cumulative layers cut from a single block. The inking process for any relief block is essentially the same for whatever method you choose to use. Don't forget that as a minimum you need clothing that covers your shoulders and legs along with enclosed shoes. When printing you might want to wear an apron or use the lab coats provided. Gloves can also be used to keep your hands clean. Once the block has been cut, the process of printing it involves a number of technical procedures. Before you print and while your hands are clean, trim your archival printing paper with a clean rule to the format that you require. Tear or cut with a blade if using an L-shaped registration board. If using a single printing action, take a sheet of thin cardboard or newsprint paper marking the size of your paper and the position of your block within the paper format. The normal convention for a registration template is to use an equal measurement for the sides and top and a little more at the bottom. This stops the printed impression reading bottom heavy on the sheet and allows space for the addition notation, title and signature. Other systems of registration are required for multiple pass methods. The printing area should have a glass inking slab. There needs to be enough space for you to mix inks, roll out the ink and then transfer it onto the block. It's a designated dirty area and should be separate from the clean space where your paper is positioned. A range of printing materials should be at hand. This includes a good quality letterpress ink, spatulas, inking rollers, cotton rags and nitrile gloves. Transfer ink from the tin using a spatula and place onto the edge of a clean ink slab. Mix the colour that you require, making sure that you have enough to complete your printing session. Level the ink in the container and then seal to ensure no grit forms in the ink. Take a portion of the ink from your reservoir and drag it across a section of the inking slab. Rolling it out into a thin, even film means that it will be even and thin on the roller. Try not to spread the ink too wide, just a small square the size of the roller is sufficient. Listen to the sound it makes. If it squelches when rolling, you've got too much ink. Transfer the ink evenly onto your block. You may need to return to the inking slab to put more ink onto the roller. Each time you take ink from the slab and roll it across the block, that's called a pass. It'll take three or four passes before the ink is adequately filling the surface of your block. It takes practice to learn how much ink to put onto the block. Too little and you won't get a good impression. Too much and it'll fill in your detail below the surface of the block. Once satisfied you have enough ink on the block, you're ready to print. Ensure the Lexan sheet on the top of the platen press bed is clean and then position the ink block onto the marked area of the registration template. Place your paper over the ink block referencing the marks on your registration sheet. Then one cardboard sheet over the block and archival printing paper. If you use more than one sheet, it'll make it harder to print. Engage the bed by wheeling the drive handle counterclockwise until it's under the printing platen. Pull the lever to engage pressure, ensuring that your knees are bent and your back straight. Repeat at least two times. Return the bed back to its secure position, clear of the platen.
Remove the cardboard sheet and check printing clarity. With your non-preferred hand, press the paper firmly against one end of the block. Gently lift the other end of the paper to reveal the printed image. If your inking's weak, either add more ink to the inking bench or apply more pressure. And if the inking is slightly uneven, identify those areas and place the paper back into position into contact with the block. Then rub with a wooden spoon into those designated areas onto the back of the paper, checking periodically your print consistency. Once complete, take the finished print to the drying rack. Remove the block and re-ink in preparation for the next print and clean any ink residue that's on the bed of the press with a dry rag. The press is now ready for the next block to be placed in position on the registration template. The press can be shared, but your blocks must be the same thickness. Once the printing session is complete, clean up your printing workstation and lock the press.